Now, in some lighter news and more amazing news, I would say, I would tell you that scientists have found the Brazilian Atlantis. And no, 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 no. It's not a carnival, and they're not beautiful women dancing all over the place. This is what really went down. Brazilian geologists have found granite about 8,000 feet underwater, 900 miles from Rio de Janeiro. The granite um, indicates that this, was, this could have been possibly part of the coastal crust of the Earth. Now, if anybody knows anything about science and geology, and you remember your fifth grade science lesson, you know, the crust or the mantle of the Earth, and above the mantle is the crust, and the crust is, you know, I guess the foundation of the crust is granite. And because the foundation of the crust is granite, there's a good belief that the, this could have possibly been part of the South American continent that was broken off and sunken for various reasons. And earlier in the show, in the News by the Numbers, I talked about the whole idea of global warming and, you know, the sea level rising. That could be us in a couple of years, right? Like, if we don't solve this global warming crisis, we could be like this, you know, Atlantis of Brazil. Either way, this, lost, this could mean there's a lost continent. They're doing more research and more excavation to figure out if this is truly the case or this is not truly the case. And this is not the first time this has happened. It's happened time and time before. It happened in it's happened in Madagascar, and it's happened in Scotland. And in the Scotland case in particular, they found hills and valleys that were made of granite, meaning that, you know, part of Scotland was sort of detached at some point in time, maybe via earthquake or when Pangea split or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the good news here is that we have found Atlantis in Brazil. Isn't that exciting?